guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video so for today's video I'm gonna be showing y'all how I achieved this nail set right here using Rossi nails dip powder but before getting started with the video I did want to give a huge thank you to Rossi nails for sponsoring today's video and also for partnering up with me and sending over their products for me to try and share with you guys I am super excited for y'all to see how simple and easy these nails were to achieve. Even though this video is sponsored, all opinions are still my own. These are my honest and truthful thoughts about the product. And just in case you're unfamiliar or never heard of Rossi Nails, they are a nail brand that sells products ranging from dip powders to poly gels to gel polishes. So they do have a great variety on their website. And they're also known for their dip powder beginner starter kits that aren't gonna break your banks. I will also be leaving all the products I use listed down below with the links for you guys as well as the direct link to Rossi Nails just in case y'all want to check out all the other products that they offer on their website because like I said they do have a good range. If y'all have been following me for a while y'all would know that I love to do my own nails especially the powder. It's just become one of my favorite hobbies and something I really enjoy doing for myself and not to mention it saves me so much money. I would go to the salon and probably spend about $60 every two weeks or so which in my opinion is just a little too much so therefore I started doing my own dip powder nails and it has already saved me so much money and not only that I have the convenience of doing it in my own home in my own space so just in case you're unfamiliar with dip powder and how it works it's similar to acrylic and it is an alternative for acrylic it just doesn't have that strong smell that a lot of us hate and the method of applying dip powder is also different from acrylic but either way like I said I will show y'all step by step how to do it and this dip powder set that I'm gonna be showing y'all how I achieved today is gonna be super beginner friendly so I'm really excited to show y'all how simple it is to do your own nails at home so yeah without further ado let's go ahead and get into the tutorial so first thing I'm going to be doing is going into this nail accessory kit and it does come with a nail file, a nail buffer, and a cuticle pusher. So I am first going to be taking that cuticle pusher just to push back my cuticles. You always want to make sure you either push back your cuticles or cut them, whichever is your preferred method. This is just going to help make sure that the dip powder isn't going to lift on our nails. So you definitely do not want to skip this step. So I'm now going to be going into this nail buffer and nail file kit. It comes with a total of six. And the nail files and buffers do have a color to them so that way you can be able to tell what grit they are. And on the back of the box they are labeled as far as what grit goes to what color. So once you open up the box this is how they look and as you can tell like I said they are colored. And this is how all of them look out of the box. So I'm going to be taking the 150 edge nail file and using that to file my nails down a little bit and also just get my desired shape I'm going for which in this case is going to be a squared shape. But of course feel free to do whatever shape you want or that you prefer. And fun fact, this is actually my first time doing dip on my natural nails. I always use nail tips and out of all the sets I've done, this is my very first time using no nail tips and I just wanted to do that so y'all can see how beginner friendly dip powder nails are. Now going back into that same kit of the six nail files and buffers, I'm going to be picking up this Edge 240 nail file and using it to gently remove the shine from my natural nails. This is just going to really help the dip powder adhere to our nails. So before going in with any dip powder, I'm going to be taking this Essentials Pro Kit that comes with a primer, a base coat, activator, top coat, and as well as a brush saver. So this all comes in this kit and the one that I'm going to be taking is the primer which is going to be the step one. And this is just going to dehydrate your natural nail to ensure that there's not going to be any problems with lifting and that we're going to get the longest wear time out of our dip powder manicure. So I'm just going to be applying this to my natural nails. So now finally onto the fun part which is color and dipping our nails. I'm going to be taking the shade Belle, which is like a white color, but it has a hint of pink to it. So it's going to be kind of like a pale pink color. But in order to apply the dip powder, you do need a base coat. So this is from the Essentials Pro Kit, and this is basically going to act as the glue, and it's what's going to make the dip powder stick onto our natural nails. So now what I'm going to be doing is taking my base coat and just applying it a little bit above my cuticle area. In order to prevent your nails from becoming thick or bumpy and just having lumps, you want to make sure that you're applying your base coat in thin layers just so that way you can get a nice and even application. Once you have your base coat on, you're gonna wanna take your dip powder jar. I like to lift mine and then I dip my nail into a 45 degree angle. And then I like to tap off any excess powder. 
So now going on to my next nail and just repeating that same process, just applying the base coat above my cuticle area. I like to kind of let the powder sit on my previous nail just so that way I can make sure it's dry before I wipe it off with the brush. So now I'm just going to be dipping this nail into the powder once again and tapping off the excess. And now that I know the excess powder on my pinky nail is now dry, I'm going to be taking my powder brush and brushing off any excess. So now repeating those exact same steps onto the rest of my nails. So I went ahead and finished those remaining nails and this is how the first layer of color looks. So now we're going to be going in with the second layer of color just to really build up the color. So I'm going to be taking that base coat but this time working it a little bit closer to my cuticle area so about a hairline away and then immediately dipping my nail into the dip powder and then tapping off the excess and then it was dry enough so I went ahead and wiped the excess off with a brush. And now I'm going to be repeating that step onto my other nails as well so I'm going to be applying it a hairline away from the cuticle area and then dipping my nail once again and tapping off the excess. And then of course repeating those steps to my other nails. This does get repetitive so that's what also makes it super simple is because once you get the hang of it, you honestly just move so much faster. So now onto my third and final layer of color. I like to apply this starting at the hairline of my cuticle area and then just applying it to the entire nail. I do not like to get close to my cuticle area just to avoid product buildup in that area because it can look messy. And then once again, dipping my nail into the powder at a 45 degree angle and brushing away any excess. And then onto the other nails we go and just repeating those exact same steps. So now we're done with the actual dipping part of the process and we're now onto our final steps which are not hard at all. So we are now going to be taking our step 3 activator and this is what's going to harden our dip powder nails and just protect them whenever we go ahead and start filing so that way none of our color that we just put down gets filed off. So this is also a very important step and I like to apply a generous amount. But before going in with our nail files, we have to make sure that it is hardened. So one way to know if you're unsure if it's dry or not is if you hear this noise when you hit your nail file against your nails. So that means they are ready to be filed. So now I'm going to be taking my Flex 180 nail file that came in that kit of six nail files and buffers. And I'm going to be going over my dip powder nails just to make sure that they're nice and smooth and that there's no bumps or lumps. And then going in with that same nail file and just filing the top of my nails like this just so I can revive my square nail shape I'm going for. And then after I have my nails filed and buffed out, I'm going to be taking that Seal Protect one more time before applying our glossy top coat. So now that the activator is dry, I'm going to be taking my step 4 top coat which is just going to be a glossy finish. So I'm just going to be applying this onto my nails. So after I've let that air dry for about 2 minutes, I am then going to be going in with the top coat one more time just because I do love that glossy look on my nails. So by all means, if you don't like that look, you can definitely just apply it one time, let it air dry and be done. So once that top coat is completely dried, I'm going to be taking some cuticle oil and this one is called Honey Peach and it smells so amazing and it really does a good job at hydrating your cuticles. I honestly really love this cuticle oil. So this is one of my new favorites for sure. And this is the end result of our dip powder nails at home and I absolutely love how they turned out. I love the color I chose and I also really loved all of Rossi's nail products. They all worked very well for me and I didn't run into any issues while using any of their products so I really do think this is a great brand especially if you're a beginner or just looking to try a new dip powder brand. So that is it for this super beginner friendly dip powder nail tutorial. I really hope y'all enjoyed it and as always if y'all have any questions about products or anything like that you can leave them down below in the comments and I will Will answer them and I highly recommend Rossi nails if you've been wanting to get into doing your own dip powder nails but just don't know what brand or where to start definitely check out Rossi nails and like I mentioned the starter kits come with the main products you need in order to do your dip powder nails so there's no confusion as to what products you need to get but yeah either way thank y'all so much for watching and thank you so much again to Rossi nails for sponsoring today's video and I will see y'all in my next video bye guys